God's people were near the land of Canaan. This was the promised land, the place God said Abraham's descendants would one day live. The Israelites had wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. The older generation had died. Moses, their leader, had died too. And now it was time for the remaining people to go into the land. God chose Joshua to be the new leader of Israel. It was a big job, but God encouraged Joshua. He promised to give Joshua success in the land. God said, no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I will be with you, just as I was with Moses. I will not leave you or abandon you. Then God said, be strong and courageous. God wanted Joshua to lead the people into the land because he had promised it to his people. God said, be strong and very courageous to obey everything Moses taught you. Study, remember, and obey the commands written in the book of instruction. If you do this, you will be successful in whatever you do. God encouraged Joshua again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for I, the Lord your God, will be with you wherever you go. So Joshua sent a message throughout the Israelites' camp. Get ready. We are going to cross the Jordan River and take this land. God is giving it to us, just like he promised. The Israelites agreed and got ready. We will do everything you have commanded us, they told Joshua. We will go everywhere you send us. We will obey you like we obeyed Moses. We trust that God will be with you like he was with Moses. God encouraged Joshua and promised to be with him as he led the Israelites into the Promised Land, where they would be victorious and find rest. We have victory over sin and rest for our souls in Jesus, who is always with us and leads us into the Promised Land of God's Kingdom.